I, um, if we haven't met yet, my name is Paul, and I serve at a church called Liberty Church in Center City, Philadelphia. I'm currently in the backyard of my house in South Philly, um, enjoying a, a pipe and trying to think through how to do this video, <laughs> um, and hoping that's not too long. But, uh, I mean, yeah, this, this assignment was really, was really kind of odd for me. Uh, I was trying to do it in the beginning. It really just brought up a lot of stuff that eventually derailed my participation in the assignment. Uh, and it kind of started with Chuck during my mid-program assessment where he kind of pointed out how I can talk articulately about the human experience of the emotional life or the mystical life or these sorts of things, but I don't seem to to feel it, to inhabit it, um, I intellectualize it. And that, combined with this semester, has just been a real turning point season for me. in life, in ministry, and everything, and and I realized that it, as I went to to pay attention as part of this assignment, um, first off, I was way too distracted by the mechanics of it, um, and, and actually, I've done these sorts of things before. I do this regularly in my life, just basic mindfulness practices, but I've never really done it as a as a practice, like this time every day I'm going to do it, just if I'm feeling super busy, being able to sit in a coffee shop and and center myself, sense things, have these apps that, you know, just have soothing tones and stuff that you just play through headphones and it calms you. And, um, I try to step back and do that zoom out thing and sense and calibrate myself with everything else around me. But the other part of this is that I get a lot of therapy of different kinds in my life where um, I see a spiritual director, this old Catholic woman at America's first Catholic church, the oldest Catholic church um, around. Uh, I have an individual therapist I see every few weeks, and my fiance and I see this couple's therapist for premarital counseling. And they're all amazing, and they're all insightful, and they've all been noticing the same thing that Chuck mentioned in my mid-program assessment, this how I, I experience emotions, but I don't inhabit them, I don't really feel them. I, I take the experience of emotion, that storm inside of me, and intellectualize it as a way to defend from truly experiencing it and so I've I've become pretty good at the physical paying attention moments that were the beginning of this assignment where you just kind of what are your senses how does your body feel what how do your feet feel on the ground what sensations are you experiencing but the more emotional side has been incredibly difficult for me as I've realized the disconnect I have from my own emotions I mean, they're there. It's a presence, but it it's more nameless for me. It's I've realized just how how odd it is. I fancied myself on really knowing myself and my emotions really well, and now I don't. I, I can I can notice I'm feeling things, but I I have a profound inability to actually name them. If that makes any sense, and so. This is Simon really pointed that out, and as I've been going through therapy and going down deeper into this, it just feels like the root of so much of my inner life is shame. Um, and so, this practice has overflowed primarily my relationship with my fiance, where I'm trying more to not use logic, not use reason, but actually communicate feelings. Like, I feel this way, and it's so damn hard. Um, And so that was the hardest part of this. It's affected how I go through ministry, how I go through... Um, every, I mean, it's 
I feel like it's created a little more margin in my life. Um, people that know me know that I've, I've been blogging for over a decade. Um, and most of the time that I've had that blog, I've been blogging five days a week. Um, but in the past six months or so, I can probably kind of one hand the number of posts I've put up. And it's okay. Um, I don't know why that is, but it's just created this... It's like the main space of silence for me. I'm still sitting in, like, room one or two in the mansion just trying to speak grace over me as I continually trip over myself in this whole thing. But trying to stop and pay attention. It... It's made me more okay with not everything needing to be communicated and put out there. Um, what was the other things? Um, I don't know how I'll be utilizing this in pastoral ministry. Um, if and when I get on staff at my church, the idea that we've talked about is for me to go on in a spiritual formation kind of role, um, which, with all these things I'm learning about myself, makes me realize the growth that I need to go through to do that well. Um, but I could see this being a profound part of that process, especially being in like a center city setting, a very secular setting. This does buck against the natural rhythm of everything around us. Uh, well, I don't know. There is kind of this renewed mindfulness movement um, that people are following. So there's that. I think it's there. I think, actually, it... It speaks to the longing in the secular narrative. I really do think in whatever this post post postmodern whatever that we're in... Charles Taylor would say that we, the world's been disenchanted, but we're surrounded by hauntings and ghosts of the things that our world used to believe. And we can't shake it. And I think that this gives us the space to really feel those things. Let them rage within us and to let it process itself through there. So I'm still very much in process. I haven't done this assignment well. Hell, I've not done these mansions contemplative practices well either. It's hard for me to admit. Um, yeah. I've been learning a lot about myself and my place in this world and how God wants to meet me. And I feel like he's still calling me to that oasis of margin, silence, contemplation, paying attention. Um, and I have a quiet confidence that I'll get there, but not really tasting it yet. And I've already gone almost twice as much as the video was supposed to be. So, sorry about that. Oh, and it looks like... I don't know if the audio and the video are out of sync, but if so, I'm sorry. Um, again, I hope this reaches you well, and I look forward to responding to your posts.